and welcome to Live Bird TV. Well, it's here, the weekend of the football season resuming. Okay, it's not the Premier League, but it's the Charity Shield and the Championship, League One, League Two. So for those of you like having a little on on a Saturday or a Friday night, whatever it is, it's back. Real football. No more crappy pre-season friendlies. No more boring football on the telly. The real football's back and I can't wait. So, the Charity Shield this weekend. For me, it's like the Jurgen Klopp said yesterday, watching, uh, listening to his press conference and watching it on YouTube. He says exactly how it is. It's important if you win it and not important if you don't. But I love his attitude. His attitude is what I've been screaming for for a good few years because I remember the domestic cups. I kind of understand why he wasn't taking them as seriously as he has done lately because he, he knew the Premier League was a be-all and end-all and we didn't really have the squad. We have the squad now to compete and to win everything put in front of us. Now, the Charity Shield is the Charity Shield. It is the Premier League winners against the FA Cup winners. So you're always guaranteed a box office game. Obviously, it's the first time you'll see your new signings in a real match. Pep Guardiola always goes really strong. Klopp always goes really strong. Like I say, I was at the 2019 uh, Charity Shield, which we lost on penalties. And the atmosphere was unbelievable. So don't tell me them supporters that were in that ground alongside myself that day wasn't up for it and didn't want to win because I've actually got a video of me live when the penalty shootout was on. I'll actually put it on this group later. And it is unbelievable. You'll never walk alone to being banded out as they're heading towards the penalty spot to take the first penalty. It means a lot because it's against Man City and it is also a trophy. Look at the picture I've shared in this video. Look at Gerard and Carragher. It is winning something and that is what you want. You want Luis Diaz, Darwin Nunes. Darwin Nunes don't know much about the charity shield. To him, it's a trophy. He'll be like, come on, he'll want to lift it because... That's what you are in football for. I go back to it when I was a Sunday League manager. I wanted to win every single cup we were in. I didn't care what it was. Because if you're a winner, you're a winner. Here's a classic example. Look at Jose Mourinho. He's kind of got a tattoo on his arm. Because he's the only manager to win every European trophy that has ever been available. So look at how Roma took the Conference League. They went and won it and they were buzzing. And so was, I mean, Mourinho was in tears. So if Jose Mourinho, a man that's won European Cups, league titles everywhere he's been, doesn't turn his nose up at the Conference League, then we shouldn't turn our nose up at a trophy because a trophy is a trophy. And I can guarantee you this, if we win the Charity Shield, go and win the FA Cup, go and win the League Cup and win the league this year, it's four trophies. Whether you like it or not, it's four trophies. You can include it, you don't have to include it. But like Klopp says, it's important if we win it and not important if we don't. But also, he says, it's the only domestic trophy that I've never won. So it's exactly that's, that. So there's the case. There's the answer. So those that don't know much about Charity Shield, I'm going to give you a little Wikipedia here. So the Football Association Community Shield, formerly the Charity Shield, is English football's annual match contested at Wembley Stadium. Which, but on this occasion, I don't know why. It might be because of the strikes being predicted from London. They've put it at Leicester. So it's between the champions of the Premier League season and holders of the FA Cup. If the Premier League champions also won the FA Cup, then the league runners-up provide the opposition. The fixture is recognised as a competitive Super Cup. So that's what it is. It's a recognised Super Cup. So that, that's, there's your answer. Organ, I don't think the word charity gives it any uh, sort of uh, extra sort of... You know, if they called it the Super Cup... Oh, oh, I actually think that. If they called it the Super Cup... It probably just sound better and people will go for it a bit more. Man City will go for it anyway. But Manchester United have won it 21 times. So if you listen to this now, it says the FA Cup, so it's formed in the Super Cup, right? Organised by the FA, proceeds from the game are distributed to communities, initiatives and charities around the country. Revenue from the gate receipts, which is going to be lower this time because you're losing 60,000 seats playing it at Leicester, and match programme sales is distributed to 124 clubs who have competed in the FA Cup from the first round onwards for onward distribution to charities and projects of their choice. While the remainder is distributed to the FA's national charity partners, the fixture was first played in the 1908-1909 season replacing the Sheriff of London Charity Shield. Sheriff of London, man. The current holders of Leicester City who defeated Man City 1-0 in the 221 match. I forgot about that. It's Leicester won the Charity Shield. I forgot about that. 
History. The Community Shield evolved from Sheriff of London Charity Shield that had been introduced in 1898 as a professional versus amateurs cup, the gentlemen and players tradition. The Football Association Charity Shield, as it was known at the time, was designed to replace the Sheriff of London Charity Shield after the leading amateur clubs fell out of the FA. The new format was to have the Football League First Division champions play the Southern League champions. Didn't know that. And the first match was 1908 between Manchester United, the First Division champions, and Queen's Park Rangers were in the Southern League. They were the Southern League champions. The match was drawn 1-1, so the game was replayed with Man United will it 4 Replayed. God's sake, imagine the Charity Shield being replayed. This is the only Charity Shield game to be a replay. Both games were played at Stamford Bridge. The competition format varied over the years and in 1913 the Shield was contested between amateurs and professionals while in 1921 the Shield were contested between the Football League and the FA Cup winners for the first time. The format continued to vary from the 1920s usually along the lines of amateurs versus professionals including one year 1927 where the professionals were represented to the FA Cup holders Cardiff City and the amateurs Corinthians. Echoing the format of the trophy's predecessor, the Sheriff of London Charity Shield. In 1930, the Football League winner versus the Africa winner returned, and a few exceptions to this format. And then just because I'm saying 1972, blah blah, I'm not going to bore you too much of all of that, but it says here yeah, a little bit more lately. In 2002, the Charity Commission found the Football Association has failed to meet its legal obligations and the Charity Law by failing to specify what money from ticket sales went to charity. Also, the FA were kind of hiding some of the money. As a result, the, check, the competition was renamed the Community Shield. And Arsenal were the first winners of the Community Shield and won their victory over Liverpool. 2016, the FA's official silversmith, Thomas Light, restored and rebuilt the Football Station's original Charity Shield to mark 50 years. So it's a new trophy from 2016. So that's it. The records is the most successful team in the Charity Shield is Manchester United with 17 wins and four shared. Arsenal have 15 wins and one shared and Liverpool have won it 10 times and shared it five times. So if we win it, it'll be our 11th time. So there you are. So that's a little bit more about the Charity Shield. So really looking forward to this weekend. Join me tomorrow for team lineups, pre-match build at 15 minutes before the match, 15 minutes at half time, and 15 minutes at the end of the game. Please join me, contribute, ask me questions, tell me what you think of players uh, ratings, how they're playing, who's performing, what sort of players you think Klopp should bring on at half time. Get sharing, get inviting, join my Twitter page, everything's free. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, free. You'll never walk alone.